They come in at turn number four, and we are racing. Instantly a split down the inside for us. Game sort of 51 car got himself out of the field there. And fortunately, he may have taken a shot in the shorts for the number 19 car, but that was deep back behind. Up front, your race leader out of turn number two and down the back straightaway, Cody Swanson from the pole. Cody Swanson from the pole with an old adversary nipping at his heels. Here comes Cody. He'll cross the line right now. He's behind Kyle O'Gara down into the corner. He'll split to the inside. The 22 challenging for position in turn number one and two. O'Gara will not let him slip on through. He gets back around. Logan Seaming holds him back behind. Yeah, we've got to keep our eye on that 22 and keep your eye on the 77 right now. The battle within the battle beyond this race. He is hot on his heels out of turn number two. He's got a little glance to the outside. The 91 comes up, shuts the door. Here comes Swanson down low, deep into the corner. Shows the nose to the 91 car. They'll go side by side through the apex onto the front straightaway, and Swanson's got it. Yeah, normally when you get a driver on his hip in turn number three, you're going to have that spot. Grant knows that. Slides back in the fourth position. Looking back to find C. He still scored seventh on the field, three spots out of where he needs to be. Watch his battles up front. I keep glancing back to find Logan Seavey, and Seavey has not figured out a way to get around the 92 car, Mario Clouser. Now, he may be being patient. That's entirely a possibility, but at the same time, you wonder if maybe he just can't get around the 92 car. There's a move down to the inside. I say that, and he just blasts it down into turn number three, and now he's got the 92 yeah, picked up. Yeah, he said, on. take that, Chet. Watch this. <laughs> there may be an issue for the 77 car. I'm not 100% on that, but... He does not look quick through the corner. No, he does not. I agree 100%. Yeah, he's definitely off the pace. There's no doubt about it. Bobby Santos closed way too quickly down at turn number one and two. Something awry, perhaps, for the Mission Foods number 77 car. Santos is wondering what's up as well. Here comes Tanner Swanson back behind the two. And here's a challenge for the race lead now down into the corner. Bobby Santos looks low to 98. He'll easily snatch it away from the 77 car. Tanner Swanson's going to get Whoa. both of them out of the corner. So Tanner trying to go two for one. Oh, what a turn of events this is in that chase for the championship. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the problem, if you're Cody Swanson, you got a problem. There's 76 laps to go. Yeah, he's in the wall with the 77. Glanced off the wall. He has got trouble. Trouble for the number 77. He's trying to hang on to everything he can. He needs a caution in the to worst come out. Way. As we lose a power plant for Trey Burke. Oh, oh, here we go. That is definitely a blown engine. They get the signal to uh, fire back off the 77. He'll pull out under his own power for Cody Swanson. And Chad, I just learned they just came in to put even more air in the right rear, but I just talked to one of the crew members, and he told me there's no cause for alarm for the 77. So Tanner Swanson out front for 30 laps so far has led the most of this feature event as he gets back into the throttle and dances his way down into turn number one and two. Someone trying to capitalize on his lookout. Car did not turn for the 77. Cody Swanson just got into the wall and unfortunately collected the 81 of uh, Trey Osborne. Or is that Derek Bishak? I'm sorry, Derek Bishak, rather. Set to go back to green. Tanner's race to start up front for the 0-2 car. Better start that time for him. Now, there were 40 to go at the line. Justin Grant still running third. He's got C.J. Leary right behind him, and there is Logan Seavey. Maybe Hamilton Jr. was going to try to make a move on a 22 of Seavey. Seavey having none of it, however. He looks to the outside of the number six car just ahead. C.J. Leary putting a lot of pressure on Grant. And Seavey's got to tread very carefully here. A little bit, a little bit of contact, a touch of the tires, and his day could go horribly wrong. As arrived. he went up there on the high side, I can imagine Robbie Rice and Ronnie Gardner about having a fit. But that's a professional race driver knowing what he's doing. There you go. Moving to the outside of C.J. Leary. Leary giving him plenty of room. That'll move up the 22 car. Now slides into fourth on the field. Right on the back bumper of the 91. He's up front. Tanner Swanson is gone in a big, big way. As here goes C.J. Yep. down on the inside. Got around Logan Seavey. These are momentum cars. And that momentum built in turn number two a lap ago. Now here comes Cody trying to follow suit. Works down the inside, the number 22. CV does not want to let him around. He'll battle back to the outside. They'll go side by side and wheel wheel into the corner. If I'm the spotter right now, there's a part of me saying just let him go. 
but that's just not in his blood. Again, occupying the attention of Sweeney. Sweeney down into turn number one. Wow. Swanson down on the inside. Still side by side. Sweeney, Sweeney sweeps around the outside and hangs on yet again. I think Cody thought he might get a pick there. and That's where Travis Wellpot in front of him. And that caused a wow for the booth. That was a wild move out of Logan Sweeney. A bold move out of Logan Sweeney. I thought he was going to stay at the outside of Wellpot. Instead, went down low. And I think he thought that's exactly where the 77 of Swanson wanted to be. So just needed to occupy that real estate to keep Cody back behind. Now, meanwhile, by the way, there's your leader, Tanner Swanson. That gap has now reached, oh, wow, about six seconds or so, 6.4. That has been a cat and mouse game yes. now for so many laps. Good surge right there for Cody. He's going to try to use CJ as a pick. Oh, let's be careful, boys. Hustled on through, five laps remain. Swanson keeping the pressure on. Good rotation down on the inside for the 77. That's as close as he's come to taking that spot away from CV. Trying to get a mistake, still laps left. If he can rattle the 22 car and get CV to mess up, all it takes is CV to drop out and drop back to the tail of the field. Admiring for sticking tight up there, but I'm like you. He needs yes. to let Swanson go. Forget about it. Forget about it. I just don't think it's in his Just hand. drop back and let him get around. Let him go where he needs to go and finish off this race. It's oh less than a handful remaining, and he wants to go three wide with C.J. Leary. Oh, my. That could have goes to the outside. Oh, my. Hold on, Nelly. That's the move right there, and that's what Swanson wants. He wants to bait him into a race. Make a mistake. Swanson oh, gets that. through. He's going to go two for one. Cody just went two for one. Can he hold it? He might. Now got a nose out on him. Technically scored fourth on the field for the number 77 car. He's out and away. He's not going to be able to run down Tanner Swanson, though. Tanner's so far out in front. The white flag has flown. This one all but in the books. What a battle between the two championship cars, and what a clinic by Tanner Swanson. Yep. They gave you all you want. Ladies and gentlemen, he's done it again. And for the eighth time, he's done it, Tanner Swanson. Picks up the win, back behind Bobby Santos has got the second spot locked up, rounding out the podium, just a grant in the 91. Valiant effort by Cody Swanson, here he comes. Here comes CJ. And Logan Seavey picking up the 2023 National Championship in the 22 car. Finally gets his Silver Crown Championship after being so close so many times.